yeah so uh, we have started chapter uh, properties of triangles have you started Yes, all of you tell me, have we started the chapter uh, properties of triangles? Yes, sir, we have started. Okay. What we were doing in the chapter? Sir, we have done. Sir, we have done question one. We have done question one. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Okay, so let's start doing more questions. Exercise 15. We have to start with 15. So question two is in triangle BEF angle E is equal to 105. Angle E 105 degrees. Angle F is equal to 40 degrees. You have to find the measure of angle D. So we all know that angle 25 degrees. Plus angle F, the sum of all the three angles is 180 degrees. Can you name which property we have used here? Name the property. The angle sum property. Correct. Angle sum property of triangles. This is the property we have used in this. So mention the property. Don't forget to mention the property. Angle sum property of triangles. Okay, it is very important to mention the property. Now, angle D, what to find out? Angle E, the value is 105. F, the value is 40 degrees. Okay, so, 180 is the sum. Angle D plus 145 is equal to. So angle D is equal to 35 degrees. 180 minus 145 is equal to 35. This is the answer. Angle D. So done. So can I do next one? Do question number three also. All of you. All of you will do it. Question three on your own. I will not tell on the board. You have to do it on your own. Question three. Tell me the value of angle Y in question three. Keep your mics off.
Are you all doing question three? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Udair, beta, give me the answer of question three. Um, I gave. I have done. Yes, tell. The answer is forty-two degrees. Angle y is equal to forty-two degrees. Um. Yeah, correct answer. Very good. Sir, y is equal to sir forty-two degree. Right. Sir, angle y is equal to forty-two degree. Yes, sir, angle y is equal to forty-two degree. Correct. Right. Sir, angle y equals to forty-two degree. Sir, may I do the third, fifth, fourth one? Yes. Okay, so now we are starting with question four. Sir, what is the name of property which is in question number four? It is same property, angle sum property. Sir. Yes. So I've done question number four, uh, fourth of uh, exercise fifteen A. So it's uh, it's answer is the first one. First, so first one ka answer is eighty degree. So and then second. Sixty degree second, and forty degree. Correct. Sixty degree and forty degrees. Yes, sir. So in question four, the ratio of three angles of a triangle is given. Ratio of the angles is given. It is given four is to three is to two. So you can assume that the three angles are four x, three x, and two x. First of all, let us assume. Let the three angles be. Four x, three x, and two x. Because why four x, three x, and two x? Because the ratio is given four is to three is to two. This is the ratio given in the equation. For x, three x and two x are the angles. Now we can use the angle sum property. According to the angle sum property, sum of all the three angles is equal to one eighty degrees. So nine x equal to one eighty. X equals to twenty degrees. This is the value of x. Now we can find all the three angles. First angle, four x, that is eighty degrees. Second angle, three x, that is sixty degrees. And finally, the third angle, two x. So this is. Forty degrees, eighty, sixty, and forty. These are the answers. Any doubt, anyone? No, sir. Question five. 
सर आंसर है फोर्टी फोर डिग्रीज All of you have done this question four. Sir, sir, I have done fifth and sixth also. Very good. So fifth, sir, fifth ka answer is angle fifty four uh, deg degree, and sixth ka answer is angle sixty and uh, sixty degree and uh, angle thirty degree. Okay, but the father tried to speak in English. Question five. One of the acute angles of a right triangle is thirty-six degrees. Acute angle of a right. One of the acute angles of a right triangle is thirty-six degrees. Do you all know that a right triangle has two acute angles also? Do you all know the meaning of acute angles? Okay, so I will be drawing an acute angle triangle here. So your right triangle here. What is the right triangle? What is the right triangle? All of you. The angle with one angle with ninety degree. Triangle with one angle ninety degree. Yes, yes sir. sir. So this is a right triangle. It has angle B equals to ninety degrees. Okay. So it is given in the question that that there is a triangle which is a right triangle. A right triangle. Sir, I have not drawn the uh, this uh, angle. So because it is a right triangle, we know that there is one angle which is of ninety degrees. Now, what else? Sir, we have to draw this angle triangle. Yes, we have to draw this angle. Now one angle is ninety, and the other two angles. You can see the other two angles. Can you all tell me whether these two angles are acute or obtuse? Angle A and angle C. These so are these acute. are acute. Because they are less than ninety. So you all know that uh, a right triangle always has always has one angle ninety, and the other two angles are acute. Other two angles are. Always acute. So, one of the two acute angles. These are the two acute angles of a right triangle. Out of these two angles, one of the angle is given 36 degrees. That means angle A. We can say that you have to find the third angle of the triangle. So this is the figure. Can you all do it now? Very easy. You all can do it. Yes, sir. Angle A. Yes, sir. C. Degrees. Write the property. I am writing in short form. You have to write it in full form. You cannot write in short form. I am a teacher. You are a student. I don't have to score marks in the exams. You have to score marks in the exams. There is no one to deduct my marks, and to deduct your marks, I am there. So you will write in full form. Angle sum property. What is the value of angle C? All of you. Sir, angle C is fifty-four degrees. Correct. Sir, so my It's answer is correct. And one of the angle of a triangle. Sir, excuse me, sir. Yes. So my answer of angle C is correct. Very good. Very good.
सर एंगल सी इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी फोर लेट्स स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन सिक्स नाउ All are ready for question six? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so question six. A little different from this question. Again, there is a right triangle. Or if it is a right triangle, you all know that. One angle will be 90 degrees. In question six also, there is a right triangle. So whenever there is a right triangle, one angle is 90. Now what else is given here? That uh, the ratio of the other two angles. That means angle A and angle C. The ratio of the other two angles of the acute angles. Ratio of the Other two angles is given. Two is to one. Two is to one is the ratio. So I can assume that one of the two angles is two x and the other one is x. X. First angle two x and the second angle x. Why two x and x? Because the ratio is two is to one. Is it clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Two is to one. So one angle is two. Yes, sir. Now you. सर X plus two x is three x, and one eighty minus ninety gives you ninety degrees. So x is equal to thirty degrees. So yes, sir. X is thirty. You can find the value of angle A and angle C. What is the value Best of angle C? Thirty degrees. And angle C two x. यानी कि what is the the value of angle C? Sixty degrees. Yes, 30. sir. these are the answers this was question number 6 sorry i forgot to write the question number Well done. Okay. Sir, the two angles are thirty and sixty. Yes, thirty degrees and sixty degrees. Sir, so done. Okay. Next question, number seven. 
there is a triangle in which one angle is 100 and the other two angles are equal. Okay, again, an easy question. Very easy questions are there. Okay. Sir? Yes, Peter. Question seven. So there is a triangle in which one angle is 100 and the other two angles are equal. So if the triangle is ABC, in this triangle, angle A is equal to angle C. Okay. So we can assume that both the angles are X. Let the two equal angles be X. Can you find the unknown angles of the triangle? Yes, sir. So I am not doing it. You all have to do it. X plus 100 plus X. Sum of all the three angles. First 180, then find the value of X. Our second root of this. So an angle 2 is 40 degree and angle 3 is 40 degree. Angle A and angle C yes, 40 degrees each. Correct. Sir, angle A and angle C are is equal to 40 degree. Yes, correct. Sir, X is equals to 40 degree. Sir, both the angles are 40 degree. Yes, very good. Correct answer. Sir, sir, yes. So the answer is forty degree. Yes, correct answer. Very good. Sir, yes, beta. Sir, please tell Max uh, of Max Hafeli, sir. I will not. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, sir, uh, sir, 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 my patient level is going down. <laughs> Okay, but I, very soon you will get your marks, don't worry. Okay, most probably in the, uh, in this week only, maybe, most probably, I'm not 100% sure, maybe this week only you will get your report cards, okay? Okay, sir.
Okay, question eight. Do question eight also now. Can you all try this? Question number eight. Okay, I will help you with this. So in question eight, there is an isosceles triangle. Do you all know what is an isosceles triangle? Yes, yes sir. sir. A triangle having two sides equal. Sir, please tell how uh, the question. Which question, Rita? Sir, question eight. Sir. Yes. Sir, starting. Sir, I have starting doing question number eight. Question eight only. You are asking question eight only. Sir, sir, I have starting uh, question number eight. Sir, come on, uh, answer also. Sir, I have done question number nine to. Question eight. So the answer of question number eight. So I have done. Uh, uh, so may I tell answer? So I. So question number eight answer seventy two degree and again seventy two degree and thirty six degree. Yes, correct. Very good. Both of you. So in an isosceles triangle, you all know that in an isosceles triangle, two sides are equal. You all know this, that two sides are equal, and two angles are also equal. In isosceles triangle, two angles are also always equal to each other. So these two angles, angle B and angle C, are equal. This is an isosceles triangle. Angle B and angle C are equal to each other. and the equal angles are twice of the third angle which is the third angle here we are talking about angle a angle a is the third angle so each of these equal angles of the isosceles triangle each of the equal angles are twice of the third angle if the third angle is x then the two equal angles will be 2x and 2x clear or not 2x and 2x so these are the three angles x 2x and 2x these are the three angles of the triangle now you all have to find all the three angles of the triangle angle a plus angle b plus angle c angle b and c are 2x because it is given in the question that each of the equal angles is twice of the third angle each of the equal angles is twice of the third angle if the third angle is x that means the two equal angles are 2x 2x each clear so angle a plus angle b plus angle c equals 180 put the values x plus 2x plus 2x equals to 180 mention the angle sum property also So five x is equals to one eighty degrees. So from this you get x equals to thirty six degrees. Now you find all the three angles. Angle A is equals to x only. Angle B is equal to two x. So it is seventy two degrees. And angle C again two x. So seventy two degrees. Got it, all of you? Have you all understood this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Very good. Sir, done. Okay, now the next one. If one angle of a triangle is equal to some of the other two angles, so that the triangle is a right angle triangle. Okay.
Question eight done. Now we are starting with question nine. No question nine. Okay, question nine now. Um. In question nine, it is given that there is a triangle, and in the triangle, one angle is equal to the sum of the other two angles. You have to show that the triangle is a right triangle. So here. Is given, given that we will start with in triangle ABC. Let us take that the triangle is ABC in triangle ABC. Given that angle A, one angle of the triangle is equal to Sum of the other two angles. Angle A is equal to angle B plus angle C. Is it clear to all of you? It is given. It is a special case. In question number nine, it is given. In not always. Angle A is not always equal to the other two angles. The sum of the other two angles. It is not always equal to this. But in question number nine, it is a special case. In this, it is given that one angle. Is twice of is equal to sorry not twice is equal to the sum of the other two angles. One angle is equal to sum of the other two angles. So angle A is equal to angle B plus angle C. You can take this as equation number one. Okay. Now you have to show that this triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. Now we can show that show this. Now you can write that we know that we know. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C. Angle sum of all the three angles will be equal to 180 degrees. What then? ASP. Angle sum property. Sum of all the three angles equal to 180 degrees. Now, in place of angle B plus angle C, what is angle B plus angle C? Look at the equation number one. This is known as equation number one. So, in place of angle B plus angle C, can I write angle A? Because angle B plus angle C is equal to angle A. यहाँ पर मैं angle B plus angle C की जगह angle A लिख सकता हूँ. Angle A plus again angle A because the sum of angle B and angle C is equal to angle A. So, I have written angle A here. 180 degrees. So angle A plus angle A. If I angle A. angle A and angle A, it becomes twice of angle A. Two times of angle A. Got it? Angle A plus angle A is equal to twice of angle A. So this is 180. So angle A is equal to 180 upon 2. Angle A is equal to 90 degrees. This is the answer. Angle A. Sir, can we? Sir, can we do like this? Uh, that uh, we can write as we know in uh, right angle triangle, one angle is 90 degree, and let the remain two angle be x plus x. Then the equation will be 90 plus x plus x is equals to 180 degree. And sir, when I have do like this, my answer is correct. Without any adding, what you have done? Tell me again. Sir, I have I have make a. Uh, I have write the statement that uh, as we know in right angle triangle, one angle is ninety degree, and let the two angles be remaining two angles be x plus x. 
सर देन आई हैव मेक अ क्वेश्चन दैट 90 डिग्री प्लस एक्स प्लस एक्स इज गोस टू 180 डिग्री In the last, you write that the triangle is a right triangle. Therefore, the triangle is right triangle. Beta, uh, you have assumed. पहले से ही आपने assume कर लिया that it is a right triangle. You have taken it as 90 degree. आप कुछ पहले से ही मान के नहीं चलना है कि उसमें angle 90 degree. You have to prove that the triangle is a right triangle. आपको last में ये बात prove करके दिखानी है कि वो right triangle है. वो कैसे prove करेंगे? जब उसमें हम last में निकाल के दिखाएंगे. That one angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, your method is wrong. You have to do okay, like. Yes, sir. This. I will repeat it. So okay. I will do it again. Yes, sir. Do like this. Take a screenshot, all of you. The meeting is about to end. In few seconds, it will end. I hope you all have understood. In this, yes, sir. Yes, sir. On the value of angle, it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That the triangle is the right triangle. Got it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got it.